Good day to you and welcome to Take 5, where we take five minutes to talk to leaders in the RCN viewing area. And today we're honored to have Rebecca Arnold, who is the uh, Assistant Professor and Director of Art Therapy at Cedar Crest College. And Rebecca is going to be part of a larger show on an upcoming edition of RCN's Community Spotlight, in which she talks more about the program. But Rebecca, I'd like to talk to you about the art of art therapy. And in doing some research, I want to ask you how successful art therapy is in treating people of all demographics, all races, it helps people uh, of all ages. Uh, I've even read that it's helped people who have suffered from traumatic events, including the children who went through the horrific events at Sandy Hook. So how does art therapy help people? Yeah, um, I like to talk about art therapy in the sense that images kind of stored in our brains from those traumatic experiences um, need to be expressed. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes when really severe instances like Sandy Hook happen, especially with children who don't have verbal means to describe what happened or how they're feeling. The images that they use, the images that they create, can be a way that they tell a story about what, how they were affected by it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, if, if a student comes to a master's in art therapy program, they are taught to work with any population. They are taught multiple different angles that they can take, multiple different ideas that they can present. Um, to help with that traumatic experience mm -hmm. that's been happening. And, you know, I mean, it, it works with children who are abused. Um, it, you know, it works with older adults who maybe have had a stroke um, or Alzheimer's. You know, th those people who can't tell their story still have images. Mm -hmm. They still have that ability to create the image and um, share the story in that way. And it's also a way that people have uh, used to try to deal with loss or uh, try to overcome grief. I absolutely, mean. absolutely. Same thing. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, it, art therapy works because it works from that part of the brain where images are stored. Mm -hmm. We are creative beings. We have a sense of, of being creative in our lives and being able to make an image about something that is really painful um, gives it a little bit of a space in between you and the image and mm -hmm. so you're not sitting and trying to figure out well I think it's this and I think it's that and having some kind of, of you know language barrier even people who don't um, speak the language of the therapist sometimes we can still communicate through images. Mm -hmm. How rewarding is it for you Ugh. and for your students to deal with something in which you're helping people so much and at the same time, you're doing something you love in the process. I just read um, a, a Facebook post from one of my colleagues, and they said, I've never had a bad day in art therapy. And I feel that way. I feel like I am doing what I'm supposed to do in this world. Um, it, is, it is so rewarding to just sit with somebody, be with them with art supplies in front of us, and create something out of that that brings trust in a relationship that provides relationship at all for somebody who might not have relationship in their lives that's that's positive or constant. And I imagine you get a lot of great feedback from the students participating in this. Very much, yeah. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> thank you so much for your time and be sure to check out an upcoming edition of Community Spotlight in which Rebecca will be joined by other uh, fine people from Cedar Crest College to talk about the art therapy program, it's the only one in eastern Pennsylvania. It's a fascinating show, so make sure you check it out on an upcoming edition of Community Spotlight.